ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸಿ ಗುಗುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹನ್ನೆರಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಅನುಸೂಯ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೀತಾ he asked about the marriage of sita where obediently she told that sita was not simply won by rama just because he lifted the bow but post but only lifting the bow only proved the capabilities of rama that he is eligible to be the husband of sita but later it is the family of rama which came from ayodhya and their kulapurohita vasishta himself made a formal request to janaka at which janaka accepted and gave her hand in marriage to rama because such a kind of a story all which is actually the natural thing which always bring delight to the old people like anasuya Shri Anasuya, faithful to duty, listened to this stirring narrative and taking hold of Shri Sita's hands, embraced her, savoring the fragrance of her locks. Then she addressed her, saying, I have heard your tale brilliantly and lucidly set forth, which you have so singularly related to me. O sweet-speaking one, i would fain hear more of your story but the sun has gone down behind the astachala mountain and the lovely night is near at hand see the birds how who have sought food far and wide all the day are now returning home to rest or how they sing the the holy ascetics too are returning from their bathing in their wet robes of bark with lotus stars in their hands the smoke in hue resembling a pigeon's neck rising from the sage sacred fires is being driven by the wind here and here and there bare trees scarcely seen in the distance appear like dense clouds in the gathering darkness the light is slowly fading in every quarter see the rangers of the night are abroad and the deer of the tapovana forest are sleeping round the sacred altars behold o sita the night adorned with stars is come and the moon diffusing her light has appeared in the heavens do yourself go o princess to and minister to your lord shri ramachandra how fortunate am i to have you have had sweet converse with you o princess do yourself attire in those robes and ornaments and thus increase my delight see sita adorning herself in the gorgeous apparel placed her head at the feet of anasuya and departed Sri Ramachandra that most eloquent one seeing Sita adorned with the ornaments given to her by Anasuya was filled with joy Sri Sita then told him of the liberal liberality of the aged ascetic and showed him her all her gifts rare indeed were those gifts and Sri Rama and the great warrior Sri Lakshmana rejoiced over the bounty of anasuya the night passed the day dawned the two princes bathed performed their morning devotions and then approached the ascetic for food the pious hermits then addressed sri rama and said o prince it is dangerous to wander in the forest on account of the presence of asuras o prince wandering about in various guises these beings feed on human flesh and drink the blood of men these creatures like wild beasts kill and devour any ascetic who is negligent or impure o prince for, the, for your sake do yourself destroy them this path o prince is the way by which the sages go to gather fruit let it be your path also 
when the holy man humbly blessed Sri Rama and he, the harasser of his enemies, entered the forest as the sun enters a dark cloud. Thus ended chapter 119 in under Ayodhya Kanda in Ramayana and with this the Ayodhya Kanda has also come to the end and next we will go to start with Aranya Kanda of Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi Kashmira Puramasini Tvamaham Prathaye Nityam Vidyadhananchadehimi Goodbye.